All right, so for anyone um, changing their sway bar, um, like bushings in the front or the, like the links, um, so there's gonna be four bolts in total, uh, two in this side going up on this side, and two on that side. And those are gonna be, I believe, uh, 14 millimeters connected to the chassis. And then the links themselves are gonna be these bolts right here, and that's gonna be a 17. Now, um, you might have some new bolts that come with it, these guys came with the sway bar links, but they're uh, probably like a 19, I think. Um, they also do have like this like silicone ring in it or whatever it is to stop it from backing out. Now, um, I actually prefer the factory bolts because they have this flare at the end. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. And uh, if you're gonna be reusing those ones like I am, um, make sure you just put a dab of um, blue thread locker on it, just so it um, has the same type of effect as this, just so any vibrations or anything doesn't back it out over time. Um, you should be good to go. Um, I'm gonna be looking up the, the torque spec now, and I will let you guys know what I torque it to uh, when I'm done. All right, so I'm in the process of um, torquing the torque spec on these links to the sway bar itself is, if I remember correctly, anywhere between 62 and um, 82. So I decided to go with 77. Now, I might be wrong on the exact torque specs, but I remember this is what's in the center of it. So um, if you do 77 like I am, you should be fine. Um, but I mean, if you want to go for something else, you know, I'll take my word for it. Um, I, that's what, you know, the factory or OEM torque spec was between those two. So um, what I'm doing right now is I have the torque wrench on here at 77 foot-pounds of torque uh, and I also have a 18 um, millimeter wrench holding between here on this little like grip point and then this is a 17 mil socket and then you know the rest you just use that right there you can put a foot on it uh, and then you can torque this guy down the spec while that guy is not moving. Uh, sometimes it helps if you have a foot on it uh, you can hold this right one right here this this link while you have your foot on the, the wrench, and then you can turn the the, um, the ratchet or the torque wrench um, with your right hand. Makes it a little bit easier. All my parts are um, Mo Movetech? Movetech? I don't know. I have a lot of my parts, and they're all from Movetech mainly. I do have some um, Moog and um, Hyundai Official. I think I have like one or two things that are like AC Delco, but majority of all this is the MoveTech, um, MoveTech, however you pronounce that. This is the easiest way of doing this right now, so I'm just gonna hop over to the other side, and then, uh, so I haven't torqued that side yet, but then I'm gonna reinstall it in the car. Um, the wire holding the caliper, going up there, through that. But yeah, making progress. All right, so just got the sway bar back in. It's gonna be uh, these two bolts and those two bolts right there. Now, whenever you are tightening it in, make sure it only go like snug on both sides. Um, but before you actually just snug it down, uh, make sure that the gaps um, between the bushings are the same. Like I can get my finger in between there. There's a gap in there. A gap over here, so I'm on the side of the car, so it's kind of hard to see on the side, but there is a gap there. It's about the same size as this side. So you just want to make sure that the sway bar is like equally distributed. Um, and then you can go ahead and torque these down. Um, for me, like I said, none of this is like I'm going off of random stuff I found, so it might not be correct, but I went with 37 foot pounds. But um, take that to your own discretion. Like, I'm not liable for any, like, damages or anything if anything happens with your vehicle or to you. Um, so, I went 37 foot-pounds of torque on both these guys. Uh, so, we're link coming right up here. Got the new end links right there. Pretty decent. Might try to adjust it just a little bit more. I already snugged it down, but I guess the gap on that side is just a tad bit bigger. So I'm just trying to make it like as even as possible. And I might, might get that back down.